Doyle, Worcester Telegram. Um, can you just talk about how you played more of a you're more of a playmaker tonight, and how your teammates, especially in the first half, you know, did a lot of the scoring? Um, I guess that's how I, I got to play. I mean, you just got to, as a basketball player, you got to read what the defense is giving you, and they're really having two to three guys on me at all times. So, what I'm trying to do is just give other guys space, create space for others and also be a good screen setter. Um, I think that's key, um, especially when those guys playing on top of me and allowing me to set screens and um, and open it up for other guys. And I was just trying to do whatever I could to win tonight, really, um, knowing that they, they're putting a lot of pressure on me and, and, and putting two to three guys on me at all times. Isaiah, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. Before I get into my question, I've got to ask you a follow-up on that. How often have you been a screen setter in your NBA career? And I'm versatile. I do it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but getting to the real question, uh, Scott Brooks was just sitting up here, and he said that he thinks their loss and the way they played tonight might have been a mental thing where they got a little comfortable after winning two games. It's only natural for that to happen in human nature. How do you guys prevent that from happening on your end going into game six and how do you maintain the momentum and play with that level of intensity that you did tonight down there in Washington? Um, I think we just got to stay in the moment. Um, we know it's at stake. Uh, we know it's going to be a hostile environment. We know it's going to be tough to get a win out there. But if we lock in like we did tonight, limit our turnovers, limit their transition, that gives us the best chance of winning that game. And we did a hell of a job tonight from the first guy to the last guy. Coach made great adjustments. And... We took what was off the whiteboard and put it in uh, on the court, and we just got to do that on Friday.